girl beauty with Mika and I'm here to do a first impression and demo on the simple micellar cleansing water now this is supposed to be a dupe for the bioderma micellar water which is available now in the US on beautylish.com but to find something more affordable for us the micellar water has it simple has come out with the micellar water now this you can find at Target Walgreens and CVS I found mine at Target no I found mine at CVS CVS does have a regular price $10.99. It was on sale for $8.99 and I had a $2 off coupon. So definitely check your local Sunday's papers for coupons on any simple skincare brand because then you could use it towards the purchase of this. Now I recently know CVS also recently ran a sale where this was buy one get one half off. I kind of wanted to purchase it but since because I hadn't had any experience with it I decided to not to. Plus there's always skincare sales. I recently did see this in Target. Target had it for $8.99. Now I will say that you could definitely use your Target Cartwheel app to see what other sales and promotions they do have by scanning the back of the barcode right here to go ahead and take advantage of the sales. And if you're in LA, you're definitely familiar with the new no plastic bag or paper bag rule. So if you bring in your own bag inside of Target, you get an additional 5% off. So any little bit will help. Now I will say this is supposed to cleanse and remove your makeup and also hydrate at the end. So once you remove your makeup, you should not only have your face cleansed but also hydrated. I am 100% oily. I do have a few dry patches. My chin, right between my eyes, and around my cheek area. Small patches. If you are dry or combination oily, you'll definitely love this. I feel like during the winter time, everyone would actually love this because we all have tend to have more dry skin. It's like that's the one time where everybody's pretty much dry. And then, you know, as the seasons change, you'll be able to know based off your skin type how well would you use this. Now, from the re from the views and things that I've heard because I've done lots of research, this is supposed to just basically be a dupe for the Biodermer. Biodermer can run you about $23 to $30, where this one is running you half that so for $10.99 I pretty much got this I would say it was $8.99 so I pretty much got it for $6.99 on sale and then I got a $5 like extra bucks back from CVS so I can't even that was like way less than half of what Bioderma cost so I can't compare it and say that I like this one better than Bioderma but I definitely will be purchasing Bioderma at IMAX New York and come back and give you guys my final thoughts and reviews on both products but until then let's go ahead and get started on this video now this says I'm supposed to remove my makeup with just a cleansing pad so the cleansing pads that I will be using these are just face secrets and these are from Sally's and these are just their large um, cotton oval um, rounds that I use. I use these to just remove my toner. And you can get these at Sally's for like $3.99. And you get 50 in a pack. So definitely these will be in an empties video. <laughs> but here's the, here's the cotton round. So it is big enough. So one side is smooth and the other side is for like the exfoliant side. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Now I'm the first time I hear it down. So, let's go ahead and get this hair tied up. So, what I'll do is... That's it. See? Now I'm ready to go. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the cotton round. Now this also says that it's hard, it has no harsh chemicals, it has no artificial perfumes or dyes, and it's great for all skin types again. And I'm just going to put this on to get it a full, like, I would say, makeup white wet. So I pretty much covered the water with the entire... Like, yeah, I basically covered the entire round with it. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to start off with one side of my face, removing just one side. And I have light coverage makeup on today. So this should not be that bad. Let's see. Let's take off. That makeup. Ooh. Okay. Now I did take off. This is yucky. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking off my, my lipstick. So I will say that it doesn't have just from being on my lips. It feels like it's water on my face. Now, this is my face completely with none. And it's basically removed a lot of my makeup. We'll go ahead and do the makeup wipe test at the end of this. But this is pretty much everything that was on my, um, just my whole right side of the face. Now, I am going to use another one to go ahead and remove the other side. Again, we're just going to go ahead and do another round and let's go ahead and take off the rest now I do like that it's smooth I can really feel it hydrating on my face and I don't have any mascara on or eye makeup So I'm just taking this back around to remove any excess makeup or buildup that I did have. And that is it, you guys. I have no more. Like, literally two cotton rounds. There's nothing on the back. But literally two cotton rounds basically removed my makeup. Now, look, we're going to do the makeup wipe test to definitely see if there's anything left over. And the makeup wipes I'm using is, again, right now, my Neutrogena Makeup Hydrating Wipes. This will tell us if there's any traces left behind from the micellar water. But I did like that. I feel really hydrated. So here's the, here's the makeup wipe. And that's what's from just left over from the, just the micellar water. So I definitely say you would probably need maybe two and a half, even a baby, I would say a dry baby wipe or just a dry muslin cloth would definitely remove that, remove all your makeup with this. I like it. I definitely say I like how gentle it was. It was hydrating. I will say that it did remove my makeup to my satisfactory because realistically, you guys, after I remove my makeup, I can, this is just the after test with the makeup remover. This shows that I was going to come back anyway and cleanse my face. So this was what was left over. I'm not relying on this to 100% remove all my makeup, but for it to just to leave this much on, I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my face anyway, so I have nothing to worry about. But this is good. I do like it. I'm going to go ahead and continue to use it. I like that it was gentle and it was fast. So it felt like it was water on my face, but it was hydrated and it was gentle. It doesn't have a smell to it. It didn't have like no chemicals or anything because again, I'm rubbing it against my lips and it removed like my matte lipstick. And that was a matte lipstick. You guys see. So I definitely say if you guys don't want any oils on your face, but you want some, my skin is soft. I don't feel like it went rough or I had to pull or anything. It was just enough to get that hydration going and it removed the makeup fast. So it felt like as soon as I put the cotton brown on it, it broke down and started just removing that makeup right where and it knew what it was supposed to do i didn't have any makeup that rubbed off or you know was rubbing into the skin or anything so that is it for my first impression for this i definitely say that this is a gotta try i will definitely buy this again i will use i will continue to use this definitely look out for another full review and blog post about this if you haven't already or if you've used the bioderma go ahead and comment in the comment section down below let me know what your thoughts are and if you see this definitely go ahead and pick it up and give it a try until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!